<laughs> Hello there, folks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was laughing. Y'all you know, caught me laughing. I was laughing with my son James. Hey, y'all see James on the on the uh, on my thumbnail? That's my son James. That's the one that got me the truck that uh that gave me the truck. And uh and uh well intro. Let me let me do my intro first, y'all, before y'all start talking about my son James. But anyway, intro. When I was a schoolboy coming home from school, I thought I saw bull raining around the hills and mounts. Steady hoop, steady hoop, steady hollering around the merry streets. With the ring ting ting and a ting 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 and a through the way a bow wow wow and a moo 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 and a heap of people that I do know. And through the way we'd run and play ball and through the way we'd run. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, my son James is, is over visiting me, visiting us. And uh, I was able to do that thumbnail with him. <laughs> Y'all finally see James, the one that, that uh, got me to the camera stand that, that uh, I'm using right now. And the one that uh, uh, got, gave me the truck. And uh, he, he uh, got, had gotten him a new car, like I said. Before, over oh, this from of new subscribers, I'm letting y'all know this is what some of the story that, that's happened before. And uh, this is a hunk of watermelon. Yeah, a hunk of watermelon. One of my favorite things to do. My son came to visit us. Mmm, uh, hunk of watermelon. Grounding. Oh, yeah, grounding. I'm grounding y'all at the same time. Well, anyway, <laughs> two of my favorite things to do. My son came to visit us, and I'm grounding. And the, th the third thing I like to do is eat some watermelon. I love watermelon, as y'all know, <laughs> from before. <laughs> yeah. I, and I, I've told, demonstrated to y'all how I like eating them. I like cutting, the, cutting them out the rind. I like cutting it out of the rind. And uh, and then I eat it from the inside, from the outside in. I eat it from the rind all the way in. But uh, that's what I like doing, because when I do it that way, it gets sweeter and sweeter and sweeter, rather than get uh, bitterer and bitterer and bitterer. It gets sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I like to do, y'all. But uh, yeah, my son surprised, surprised me coming over. Oh yeah, my daughter's coming in from. She's coming. Fly, she flew in from Nashville. Oh, not from Nashville, but uh, but uh, Michigan. She flew in from Michigan yesterday, and she's over visiting uh, a friend of hers. And right now she's at her granny's house, visiting her. And uh, so she'll be here after a while. And. Uh, but uh, that's my daughter Chelsea. I've talked. I've I've mentioned her a few times before. She's the one that I taught how to get that gas, that air. I call it air when it's when you when it's a belch, a belch, a belch, a belch, belch for a man, a burt for a woman, for a female and children. <laughs> but it's a belch for a man. Yeah, I'm a man. I belch. But anyway, <laughs> I might be the might have to let one out after I get through this juicy watermelon. But uh, but yeah, she she should be here after a while. You uh, know, if she shows up before, while I'm still making this video, I'll see if she wanna be on camera with 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 a, with Paul Paul G. <laughs> yeah, that's my son James on that thumbnail, y'all. That's the one that uh gave me the truck. He bought me the camera stand and the uh camera mount inside the truck and uh and so yeah <sighs> so i've mentioned them a lot of times in my other videos and so y'all got to get to see a picture of james <laughs> yeah it's a very eventful day <laughs> Very fortuitous, for, wait, how you say it? Very fortuitous day, fortuitous, 
a very for, fortuitous day. I believe that's how you say that, fortunate, fortuitous. <laughs> anyway, first piece, y'all. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's good. Oh, yeah, for you new subscribers, the way I choose watermelon is I give them a firm squeeze. A nice firm squeeze. squeeze. And uh, if they hold up to the, to the squeeze, uh, if they hold up to the uh, squeeze test, well then I bring them home and I sit them out in the sun. And depending on whether I feel any soft spots on them or not, I depends on how long I leave them out in the sun. Okay, subscribers, I know some of y'all have heard this before, but uh, this is for the new people. I like to, I like to try to help anybody I can. You know what it says: each one teach one. You know. So anyway, another piece here. Hmm. Mm. If I if I keep saying excuse me for the smacking, <laughs> I'll be saying excuse me the whole time I'm eating this. So y'all just bear with me. And uh, I know you you probably can hear the crunchiness too. That's another thing. Since I've been using that technique of picking watermelon, choosing watermelons, and setting them out in the sun. I haven't gotten any bad ones. Now I noticed on on one on one, it, it uh, kind of failed the hardness test a little bit when I was squeezing it, in which it didn't really fail, but I misjudged how long I should leave it in the sun, and so it just kept getting riper and riper, and so uh, yeah, because I, I, I felt a little soft spot on it. But I thought maybe I, that was one of the first ones that I uh, had to make that choice on. And so what I had to do, uh, I, f I figured out that what I need to do was leave them out in the sun with less time. If there's any softness or anything on the outside of the rind, when I give it the squeeze test, well then I, I, I need to uh, not leave it out so long. Another piece. Mm. This is a hump. And these are pieces. <laughs> I like hunk of water, hunks of watermelon. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. I did a compost gardening video this morning, and uh, it's the one that I have a wheelbarrow on the front, on the uh, thumbnail, with uh, some miracle grow with a miracle grow bag of soil, and uh, a bag of uh, a brown bag of. Uh, you got to keep looking down at my feet. I don't want the ants to get on me. I'm grounded with no shoes or socks on, so I don't want no ants to bite me. That reminds me this morning, I got in an ant bed. So y'all make sure y'all go watch that. Y'all go, y'all see Papa G dance around. <coughs> you see, <coughs> you see Papa G dancing around getting them ants off of him. <laughs> Cause uh, I was back there on my compost pile and uh, I wasn't thinking about answers at the time ants at the town and uh so i was back there talking to, to you guys and uh demonstrating what i was talking about they say i know man i was getting bit and so anyway <coughs> <coughs> what, what i was uh videoing about was uh i was making a mixture of compost compost 
composting material. What they teach her, teach her not to talk with your mouth full, but anyway, it's just watermelon. <laughs> well, uh, composting material. I did a mixture of composting material, miracle Grow soil, and uh, cotton seed meal. And that's what was in the that's what's in the brown bag <clears throat> that you see on the thumbnail. Cotton seed meal. It's like a it's like a Manila envelope. It is vanilla, Manila, vanilla. Anyway, envelope. It's it's one of those brown bags of uh, cotton seed meal. And uh, what I did was did a mixture because we 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 supposed to be getting some rain. I did a mixture of that and uh, mixed it up real good in the wheelbarrow, along with the composting material. <coughs> and uh, and, uh, and uh, composted material, because this in the past, it was, it was all, it's soil now. And so <coughs> I mixed it all up in the wheelbarrow and, and treated my plants. My water, my, not watermelon, I'm thinking about watermelon now. <laughs> mm. I treated my collard greens, my kale, uh, cauliflower, cabbage, and uh, broccoli plants, and a couple of uh, tomato plants, three three tomato plants. Well, a couple of tomato plants, plants anyway. <coughs> At least two. And uh, I don't know how well they're gonna do this. It's in the fall here in Mississippi, y'all. If you, wherever you are in the world, it's fall here in, in the United States, in Mississippi. And uh, it's a change of the season. Mm. So uh, yeah, it's in the fall here, so I don't know how well those tomato plants are gonna do. But uh, we just happened to pick them up anyway. We was at Fazio's. That's the name of the uh, nursery down here, up on Highway 53. I mean Gulfport, Gulfport, Mississippi. <coughs> And uh, it's up on Highway 53, Fazio's, that's a nursery that my wife and I like to go. Granny D, and I'm Papa G. We like to go to Fazio's. And, uh, but anyway, <clears throat> I, I like seeing that name because it took me a while to think of it. One day I was, I was doing a compost gardening video and couldn't hardly think of the name of the nursery that day. So anyway, <clears throat> y'all can go back and watch that composting video, compost gardening video I was making this, I made this morning. And, uh, and, uh, oh yeah, like I said, it's the one with the wheelbarrow. <clears throat> it's in the wheelbarrow. I got a shovel, uh, the, the, uh, bag, the bag of, uh, miracle Grow soil, along with the bag of cotton seed meal on the, in the, in the wheelbarrow. So anyway. I've taken more than one thumbnails with wheelbarrows, and so I, that's why I'm describing it so much, so uh, thoroughly. But anyway, another piece of watermelon, y'all. Mm. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this is gonna get sweeter and sweeter and sweeter each round. Each time I go around the, the round, <laughs> oh yeah, my son was telling me that that uh <coughs> where he stay, he have a little problem with with uh, cats cats roaming the neighborhood. <laughs> 
And uh, he said they be putting leaving foot step, footprints on his, or paw prints on his car. <laughs> and I teased him. I say, I say, uh, you, I say you, <clears throat> somebody see you, see the paw prints on there, and, and uh, you know, like he's at work or something or whatever, and uh, they they happen to see the paw prints. They say, they say they dropped their voice and say, oh, you you a cat man. <laughs> I was messing with him. You a cat? You a cat man, huh? <laughs> oh. He said, "No, man." He he say, "No, man. Ain't no cat man." Uh, hey, <laughs> but anyway, he stopped telling me about buying a some type of supersonic something. <laughs> That's my son Jane, the tech guy. <laughs> something that will detect the emotion on his vehicle and and send out a impulse, send out pulses, I guess. Uh, where they can hear, you know, and it'll scare them off, hopefully, you know. So I wish him good on that. <laughs> I wish him well on it. Mm. If some of you know about something like that, that'll send out frequencies, put it in the comment. Maybe I'll advise him on what he should do. On what I find out. <clears throat> he does he does always does good research though on the things that he's he's looking at buying. So that's why I asked him. That's why I asked him to uh look up camera stands and camera mounts for me. And uh and what he did he looked it up, and the next thing I know, he called me and told me it was on the way. <laughs> Is that a good son or not? <laughs> yes. He told me it was on the way, and I say, well, how much y'all owe you? He said, no problem. He said, no problem. I, I got it. <laughs> so I didn't ask twice. <laughs> anyway. Mm. He said, he just said that uh, me and, and his mother, we've done everything for him. And so why shouldn't he do something for us? You know, I was in, this, I was in the receiving seat that time. And uh, why shouldn't he do something for me? Ho, ho, gee. <laughs> you know, make me feel good. You know? It's kind of like, it's kind of letting me know that uh, I wasn't feeding a burden. <laughs> you know, that's what, I, that's what I tell people. I say, you don't want to be feeding no burden. I say, you need to, you have to make those children do what you what you say do and stuff. Uh, whether, whatever it might be, chores around the house or whatever it might be. Because I say, you don't want to be feeding no burden. And all, cause all you know, this burden gonna keep growing. That 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 burden will keep growing into a bigger burden and a bigger burden and a bigger burden. And so you don't want to be feeding no burden. And so it's good when they turn out good, and uh, and get to do some good things for you after you've raised them. You know, cause I did ask him. I say, how much I, how much I owe you? <clears throat> and he said, no problem. I got it. Hey, <laughs> I, I, I offered. <laughs> I offered y'all. If you if you're a parent, you know what I'm talking about. You don't want to be feeding no burden and it's getting bigger and bigger, and uh and, and then it grew up being hard headed and and uh, uh uh make you sad and sorry. You know, you wanna you wanna grow some help. <clears throat> That's what I always say. You want to grow some help, not no burden, right? Right. <laughs> Each one, teach one, y'all. You young, you young uh, parents out there. You, you, you out there who hadn't had children yet, hadn't uh, gotten married or hadn't children yet. Hey, take note. Papa G's teaching now. You know, this is some good information. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. 
<laughs> each one teach one. I'm not saying that I'm a I'm a grand expert on on uh, raising children or life, but I've been around a while. I know some things. I mean, I've learned everything, but I know some things. Should I be seeing things? Let me put my pinky out. I know some things. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I know some things. <laughs> ah. Good milling, y'all. Set them out in the sun. Set them out in the sun. <clears throat> and depending on how much give they had when you give, gave them a big squeeze, that's how many days you determine to leave them out there in the sun. If it's real soft, <laughs> you might be to made a bad decision and you need to cut that baby. You need to cut it. But if it's got some some strength, some uh hardness to it when you when you give it the squeeze, you can set it out in the sun for a while. All right, Aunt. Y'all got me this morning. I ain't planning on sitting up here and let you get me this evening. It's in the evening where we are now. It's in the evening here in Mississippi. I made that compost gardening video this morning. And uh, but anyway, yeah, they got me, y'all. They got me. Those ants, they got me. <laughs> but uh, hey, I had to get rid of them quick. <laughs> Me and ants don't get along. Mm. Mm. Juicy. Juicy, y'all. Mm. I was talking to y'all about how those children are get, they, they get, they get to eating something good. You know, on another video, I was telling y'all that how those kids, they get to dancing, boy, when they, you know, they be eating something good. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. <laughs> See, it's got a little green on it, but uh, I'm enjoying it because I'm anticip I'm, I'm eating in anticip an anticipation, Antici anticipation. I'm eating in anticipation of the further I go up, the further I move up, the 
the sweeter it's gonna get. Take my glasses off so y'all can see my eyes. <laughs> Boo. 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 <laughs> but anyway, sometimes I wear my glasses because I uh, had a case of Bell's palsy, and uh, my eye, it was closed up when I had that case of Bell's palsy. And uh, in my, in this side of my face was uh, numb, like I lost control of it. And my mouth drooped. If you notice, you may notice that my smile is not as full on this side, maybe. My eye, it, it doesn't stay open all the time. I can see out of it, but it, it don't open up as wide as it used to. And so I, sometimes I find myself lifting up, trying to lift up this eyebrow in order to make my eye open up more. But anyway, you know, it's just one of those things that happen probably about mm, <clears throat> 67 I'm 67 now y'all might have happened when I was about maybe 61 might have been 62 it happened a while before my re before I retired <clears throat> but anyway if you see my eye not opening up all the way that's what it was. A case of Bell's palsy. That's what they said anyway. And, and my mouth never did. I can still feel some numbness when I'm trying to smile. And uh, I'm not in full control of my eye to be able to open it up as wide unless I'm scaring somebody. <sighs> My grandchildren love for me to scare them. <laughs> Especially them boys. <laughs> they say, Paw Paw. Paw Paw, will you scare us? <laughs> Sometimes I don't do it. I don't do it too often. Because I wanted to ease up on them, you know? I wanted to ease up on them. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I love my grandchildren. I love my children. I love my folks. I really love babies. <laughs> I've been thinking a little bit about going, you know how they let seniors, they have seniors holding babies in hospitals, the newborns and all, or maybe the babies that are, that are being treated or something, or something may be wrong with them and they, you know, 
Anyway, I, I've thought about that a little bit, <clears throat> being a baby holder. <laughs> anyway. That's what used to happen. When, when our children would, would be crying when they were babies, and they would be crying and or, or something or whatever, and uh, my wife just needed a break. <laughs> Uh, she would, she would, <laughs> she would bring more, and she would bring them, and just hold them out, <laughs> like here. <laughs> and a sand man would go to work, <laughs> sprinkling sand on the eyes. And uh, after a while, the eyes would go to. <laughs> After a while, they be out. <laughs> yep, so I always make sure babies have burnt real good. With babies burnt, you know, babies burnt. I give them credit. The boys, mm, they might, they might let out a belch every now and then. But uh, <laughs> but uh, anyway. Mm. <clears throat> I like to get all the air out of them. About to get sweeter, y'all. About to get sweeter. I like to get all the air out of them. And then uh, lay them on my chest. And uh, before I knew it, we both sleep. <laughs> I be waking up. <laughs> Either my wife will come, come. I feel her picking them up off of me or something, or, <clears throat> or either I feel them, they start moving around after they've woken up, maybe they've woken up or something. Anyway. <laughs> so my family started calling me the Sandman. It's good, y'all. Round, I'm going to the to the next round. This next round gonna be juicy. Some of the, some of the reason you might see me wiping this side of my mouth is because, um, like I said, I had that case of Bell's palsy, you know. <clears throat> Sometimes this side might be a little, you know, a little juicier than the other side. <laughs> School bus. Gotta go to short bus there, y'all. Mm. I forgot to spit that seed in my compost bin over here. I got a compost bin over here on the side. <clears throat> Sometimes I come out and blue me in there. Down in the corner, way over there in the corner. I come out here eating banana. 
you know, so I, I eat a banana every day. <clears throat> I eat a banana every day. I heard, I heard one guy that I used to work with, <clears throat> his, his doctor had him eating banana to, uh, I think he said, to help build his calcium. No, potassium. Help build a potassium up. And so uh, I started eating bananas on my own. I didn't wait for the doctor to tell me. <laughs> if you know a, a healthier potassium or something with more potassium in it, because I always try to, I try to eat what I need, the vitamins I need, rather than rely so much upon uh, supplements. Because, uh, you know, I was taking supplements. I had taken them practically all my life. <clears throat> but a few years ago, uh, maybe two, maybe a couple of years ago or so, I started getting a hurting right up in here. And uh, I told my daughter about it. She's a nurse. The Chelsea, I told her about it. When she ain't built it, she's, she's nursing. <laughs> Let me share that. Let me leave that girl alone. <laughs> oh, daddy. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, ain't nothing but a thing. But anyway, uh, <laughs> oh. She, I told her about it, and what did she say? She said maybe it could have something to do with uh, because I had <clears throat> I had thought about that maybe, you know, you hear so much about uh, what do they call that? Uh, what do they call that? When you ingest too much bread or something, or uh, it'll come to me. But anyway. I stopped taking so many, the thought came to me about, usually when a thought come to me about something that, that uh, I may be, big old leaves, those big old sycamore leaves falling, y'all. Got me looking around, hitting the ground so hard. But uh, that's some of the reason I started compost gardening too. Hey, but anyway, <laughs> put them leaves off in there, mulch them up. <clears throat> and, uh, but anyway, uh, a thought came to me about uh, maybe it's a supplement because I was I was a, a advent supplement taker. Uh, there go one. Should I say excuse me? <laughs> or should I say thank you? <laughs> excuse me, y'all. <laughs> I go and say excuse me since I got company. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I like having you guys with me. Oh yeah. So I, I stopped eating. I mean, I stopped taking supplements for a good while. And that feeling, that that pain, that little irritating pain, annoying pain, went away. <clears throat> and so, uh. Now, it seems like whenever I take, I, t I try to, you know, pick up taking them again or whatever, I still feel that pain or uh, uh, annoying. It's, it's a kind of an irritation, like, <clears throat> and so, so, hey, I don't take as many anymore. So I, I try to ingest all of them. I try to ingest just my uh, vitamins instead of having to take supplements. And so that's where the compost gardening come in comes in real good because I, I make smoothies too I need to start back making my smoothies wipe this corn on my mouth again <laughs> anyway I need a napkin here's one Mmm.
Well, yeah, I was, I was saying, uh, I enjoy having you guys with me. You guys, uh, and make it, uh, doing an, it's an additive to my life. I'm, like I said, I'm 67. And so it actually gives me something else to do. It gives me more to do. Because sometimes I take y'all to the gym with me. You know, I just went to the gym this morning. I slowed down on those videos a little bit because of the copyright. They playing all that music up in there. I, if I would have took my camera this morning, I mean, if I would have brought my camera in this morning and uh, set it up for a video, they had the music down real low this morning. I wish I knew when they was going to have the music down real low. That's where I, I take my camera with me and y'all go with me more. But uh, anyway, But yeah, I got all these big leaves around and stuff. That's some of what I use in my compost gardening. The thought came to me to start using them. So I mulch them up. I let them fall first. And then I mulch them up. Then I put them on the compound, the compost, in the compost garden. Though. Yeah, I've been putting them in the compost garden. Now I may start uh, putting them in the compost pile and just covering them up with more sand or more soil and just let them compost like that i'll probably do a combination of things get in there see and grow pop how g some more of what he need. Water me love. <laughs> Water me love. <laughs> Maybe I should put my pinky up when I spit. I'll spit a seed out. Put my pinky up. <laughs> Do it with etiquette. <laughs> mm. What I was saying was, you guys motivate me. to uh, have more activity in my life. And I was just talking to my son James a while ago, you uh, know, tell him about that. I, I, I just got, got about three more subscribers this week. Y'all subscribe. Subscribe, y'all, the ones that are watching and hadn't subscribed yet. But you come back and watch, Papa G. <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> You're trying to see Papa G for free. <laughs> Come on now. Subscribe. <laughs> and then you have it done. Just go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell. Hit the notification bell. I think, it, I think it's white. I think it'll be white. When you hit the subscribe, you hit the white notification bell. I believe it's white. The one at the top, I think. The one that says all bad. All. <laughs> uh, and then you have it done. And then you won't you won't be feeling guilty. Watching Paul Paul G. <laughs> you can always come back and see Paul Paul G, so you might as well subscribe. <laughs> That way you won't be feeling guilty when you watch Paw Paw G. <laughs> you have it done. 
put that guilt feeling on the run. You have it done. Then you feel better about yourself when you're coming back to watch Bobo G. You feel better. We don't need to feel them sad. Bobo G doing things to try to lift your spirit. Make you, help you feel good, not bad. So, might as well go ahead and subscribe. Just go ahead and subscribe. Do it. Push the button. Push subscribe. <laughs> Click it. But I'm glad y'all tune in anyway. Cause it even it, it still helped me for you to watch my video. Even if you haven't subscribed. But you're selling yourself short. If I if I put out a video and you don't see it right away because uh, you didn't subscribe so subscribe Almost all of that word that uh, <clears throat> I thought might have been wrong with me when I had that that feeling up in here. Anyway, it'll come to me. If not this video, the next another video. So y'all keep tuning in so you'll hear the name of that word. You hear that? You hear that? Keep keep subscribing. Y'all go ahead and subscribe and, and come on back. Mmm. Oh yeah, and y'all, get in there, seed, and grow Papa G. What he need? What a million! <laughs> what a million! Cause Papa G like to. <laughs> Eat. E A T. <laughs> I had to watch how I buck my ass though because I scared a grown man one time. <laughs> He was looking right at me. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. It's getting sweeter, y'all. My son James is a good man. I ain't gonna say good boy, he's a good man. He's out on his own. <clears throat> I think he's lived in the same place for about 
think maybe going on three years now. Two or three years. Don't ask us for anything. Excuse me. <coughs> There's the pinky. Excuse me. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lift my voice up. I'm gonna say, excuse me. <laughs> I just put the pinky up. <laughs> Gluten. That's that word. People be talking about gluten-free stuff. So I was thinking maybe I had a, a gluten problem when I was taking on those, uh, what? driving a four-wheeler down the street. <laughs> gluten, yeah. That's, I thought I had, maybe I had a problem with gluten. So I slowed down on my bread eating. <laughs> And, uh, and all of that, and so, but when I got rid of the, uh, when I stopped taking the, the supplements, so many of them, I take one every now and then now. But uh, when I stopped taking all the supplements, that, 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 that uh, irritation went away. I told y'all, usually when things hit my mind, about something, when something's bothering me, it's, it's right. You know, that's the way it happened with orange juice. Uh, I think of tomato, tomato juice or, anyway. Yeah, it hit my mind, you know, because I would get what they call acid reflux after. Uh, I, well, I used to guzzle, I used to guzzle, guzzle uh, orange juice down. You know, apple juice too. So I. I cut back on my intake. <clears throat> Mosquitoes coming out here or something? Something. A bit more. Not a bit. Well, anyway. <laughs> Go in here and take a shower. Or take a bath. Because maybe, that's, maybe that's what I need. <laughs> maybe that's all I need. <laughs> Just being real, y'all. You know, you can you all appre appreciate it when when uh, somebody's being real. <laughs> Let me pat my feet a little bit. Sometimes I I do that and uh, I see old ant creeping away. <laughs> Now I blew it like a hurricane. <laughs> they take off <laughs> the other way. Yeah, gluten, that's that word. I've heard it said that if you're trying to think of something and you finally think about it, you don't have dementia or Alzheimer or whatever. Usually, I think about something that I'm trying to think about and it comes back to me. Is that good? I think it is. <laughs> mm. 
I thank you guys for tuning in, for, for coming back and watching my videos. Subscribe and hit the bell so, don't, so you don't miss any. You might as well. Ring the bell. Dingy dingy. <laughs> <laughs> Get some good good grounding in. I've been sleeping better since I've been grounding. And uh watermelon knocks me out too. <laughs> so I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Watermelon has an effect on me, something, something like turkey. Like when you're eating turkey, you had a good meal of turkey and dressing or something like that. I get sleepy. You know, I wonder what's in watermelon and what's in, tur in turkey that uh, cause you to be able to cause you to fall asleep like that. Anyway, whatever it is. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, it rained overnight here. You know, they talking about more. We us getting more rain, <clears throat> more rain coming out of Louisiana. Louisiana is that way here. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it's supposed to be moving in out of Louisiana. Although I feel the wind blowing out of the east right now. I know that don't necessarily mean anything up higher, because the higher you go to a different drafts play uh, come to play up there. <coughs> ah, excuse me. <laughs> what are you saying? Why he keeps saying, excuse me? Mama, mama, why he keeps saying, excuse me? But he's steady eating. What's causing him to build? Oh, son, oh, oh, child. It's because it's good. <laughs> it's simple. It's, cause it's, it's because it's good. He don't want to stop eating. Mm. Mm. I used to just thump watermelon when I was picking them. Thump them or slap them or pat them and listen to them. I would pat one and went in the in the in the store one time. And they just say, What she says, is that a good one or <clears throat> 
How you tell they good? I say I, I, I pat them and I listen to them. But anyway, I figured out a better way than just patting on them. I squeeze them now. I give them a good squeeze. <laughs> Get enough seed and go pop pop G what he need. <laughs> Y'all put in the comment how handsome my son is. Look at the thumbnail again. When this video is over. And uh, put in the comment how, ha how handsome he is. Rating from 1 to 10. I ain't, I ain't asking the men to do it. You, you, men don't have to do it. Y'all don't have to do it. Matter of fact, I'd probably feel better if you don't. <laughs> but you ladies, put in the comment what uh, uh, how handsome my son is, my son James. Don't 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 think about all these gifts he's given me. Just just off of pure handsomeness. Put in the comment how how handsome how he rate. One to ten. <clears throat> My daughter's made it here with, with her mama. Y'all see the light came on. My safety light came on. It got a little bright out here, didn't it? It should last long enough for the rest of this video. <laughs> hey, George. Hey, there, Dad. <laughs> what it is? Oh, I see it. Hey, there, Hey, now. Camouflage, eh? Yeah, yeah I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm entertaining my, my, my subscribers while I eat watermelon. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hey, Jessica. How you doing, Papa Bear? 
Come hug me, my, my, my subscribers can see it. At least see oh, your legs. <laughs> they can see your legs. I can say hello. <laughs> How you doing? I'm dude? doing good. Oh, okay. Love you too. <laughs> That's Hi. my daughter, Chelsea. That's the one I taught her how to belt. <laughs> <laughs> they knew about it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hey, George. <laughs> Yeah, I told her how to get that air out of them. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Yeah. <clears throat> that was my daughter Chelsea, y'all. Y'all catch anything? Uh, no, just shrimp, mullet. We really didn't cast any poles. Oh, okay. Cash was more so enjoying himself mm -hmm. doing other stuff. That's he that you age. Know. Yeah. So I, I don't fish that often when he actually would. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and then he trying to figure out what other people are fishing while we over here mm -hmm. playing rock paper scissors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, mom said, will you come flip the breaker? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's crazy because, you know, you bring all your stuff out there. I didn't, I'm down. <laughs> I used to bring like three four poles. Mm -hmm. I'm down to one. And I have a collapsible, but I'm probably going to leave it to the one in the two box, in the tackle box that's collapsible. Mm-hmm. Cause there ain't no point taking all of that out, you know. Mm -mm. Cause we about to play rock paper scissors. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, I'll be right back. Still got a little bit more I'm back, y'all. <laughs> uh, got a little bit more watermelon to go. Uh, we're getting ready to getting ready to have a fish fry. My my daughter put in a request for a fish fry when she got here. So, Papa, y'all know Papa G likes that though, cause what Papa G likes to. <laughs> yes, indeed. And fish, hey, fish with scales on, fish with scales and the fins. They rate real high with Paw Paw G. My wife says she got some flounder and some ground mullet and some, uh, uh, like sheep's head. And had them for laid. So, <laughs> y'all know about G. 
<laughs> Ain't got to look real hard for no bones either. <clears throat> I still be a little cautious, but I don't hey. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> My wife telling her daughter how my daughter how she did that pound cake she got in the kitchen. It looks good to y'all. It looks good. It didn't get quite as dark as Papa G like them, but it's but it looks good. I like the outside kind of dark, kind of you know, kind of uh, burnt, not not real burnt, but just kind of brown. The browner without tasting bitter, the better. <laughs> So Popo G about to have some fry, some fish, fried fish, pound cake. Hey, that's some more of my favorite things, y'all. <laughs> some more of my favorite things. Be out there looking at my son James' new car. <laughs> I got the truck. <laughs> I got the truck now, y'all. He got a hybrid. Part, part electricity and part gas. A hybrid. Honda. Oh, Paul G got the truck. Got the truck. Mmm. <clears throat> it looks like I'm having dessert first tonight. <laughs> car take off <laughs> electric electric and gas what do you know what do you know the technology has advanced y'all <clears throat> you know he's got <clears throat> he's got lane assist in it be able to help it help <clears throat> help keep him in the lane help keep it in the right lane the best lane and uh oh man of course, of course cruise control i love cruise control i love that lane assist too and it's got a this cruise control when you come up close behind another vehicle when you when it's the closer you get to a vehicle the more it slow down Automatically. I drove one of those, I drove a van like that. My wife ran it when we went to uh, Michigan one time to go up, go up there to see my daughter y'all just saw a while ago. And uh, 
Get in that seed and grow Papa G what he need. Watermelon. <laughs> Watermelon. Mm. Well, y'all, that's the end of it. Mm-mm-mm. It was good. <sighs> now I'm going to let this digest a bit before the fish get ready. And then, <laughs> Papa G going to enjoy that. Because y'all know, Papa G likes to <laughs> ah, thank y'all for watching thank y'all for tuning in thank y'all for coming back to watch my videos again and again and uh tell a friend say I found this guy I found a 67 year old brand new YouTuber. <laughs> and, uh, hey, he do some interesting, interesting things. So he's a compost gardener, the compost gardening CEO. And he do some more good things, some more things, you know. But anyway, thank y'all. I thank y'all for watching, for coming by to see Paw Paw G again. Thank y'all for, for, for uh, visiting me again. Paw Paw G. Your friendly neighborhood. <laughs> Paw Paw. Oh, I know what I did with it. <laughs> I wanted to be real smooth. I wanted to be real smooth with this control. But, uh, hey, at least I got one. It's control, y'all. When I was a schoolboy coming home from school, I thought I saw a boy raining around the hills and mounts. Steady hoop, steady hoop, steady hollering around the merry streets. And with a ring, ting, ting, and a ting, 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 and a through the way about wow, wow, and a moo, 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 and a heap of people that I do know, and through the way we'd run play ball. Papa G kind of happy, can't y'all tell? And through the way we would uh, run.